Everybody, uh, man, now that I'm here, I'm really just at a loss for words. Um, I do have an intro typed out, uh, and I'll get to that really quick. But I just wanted to say, uh, if this is the, f the first video you've seen of mine, or if, if this is like the 30th. Maybe you've seen this series sorted by newest on YouTube or something. Or maybe you caught it uh, as it was being developed, and you can come along for the journey in pretty much real time. Uh, sorry, let me get to the intro. Hello and welcome to Final Fantasy IV, a story about carving a virtuous path despite past transgressions with themes of loyalty, compassion, perseverance, and a bit of love. Whether it's your first time seeing this game or your 40th, I'm confident it will earn a place in your heart as it has in mine. You can expect a winding narrative, a soul-stirring soundtrack, fast-paced combat, and a broad cast of well-constructed characters. You can call me Nick. Uh, let's keep this intro short and sweet and begin our quest. Final Fantasy IV. New game. I'll bump this up just a tad. Let's go. Airships. Captain, we will arrive in Baron shortly. Very well. <laughs> Captain seems kind of down. After what we did, who wouldn't be? Orders are orders, but killing innocent people to get the crystals just isn't right. A flashback to ten minutes ago. Dead. Red Wings are supposed to protect people, not harm them. That's enough. But Captain, surely you don't condone what we've done. All of you, listen well. The raid on this city was imperative. For Baron to prosper, we need the Crystal's power. The King and his council concluded that the Nasidians knew too much about the Crystals. We are the King's Red Wings. We cannot defy his orders. Captain, Captain, monster sighted dead ahead! Prepare for battle. Floating eyes. Ugh. Are you alright? We've got more hostiles. Damnation. <laughs>
Any losses? All accounted for, sir. We've been encountering a surprising number of monsters lately. Could this be some kind of punishment from the gods? Well, that ship all dinged up. Captain, we are now over Baron. Very well. Prepare for landing. So we went to Mysidia and slaughtered their mages to steal their crystal so the kingdom of Baron could prosper. There it is. That's our kingdom. Well done! So the crystal is now ours. The Mysidians put up no resistance. In fact, they were completely helpless. Is that pity I perceive? <laughs> Come, Captain. His Majesty awaits. I just love this music, man. If you'll excuse me, Captain, I must speak to His Majesty in private. Please wait here. Your Majesty, I am afraid Cecil can no longer be trusted. He clearly questions your authority. I suspected as much. It matters not, so long as I obtain the crystals. Send him in. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> Captain! His majesty summons you. The kingdom of Baron hails your return. May I have the crystal? Yes, your majesty. <laughs> Handed over the water crystal. So this is the crystal. What splendor. You are dismissed, Cecil. Your Majesty. Yes? What is it, Cap- er, What is it, Captain? <laughs> your Majesty, forgive me, but what are your intentions? My men are confused and displeased. And you? Do you question my command? No, I only ask silence! Dissension only leads to treason, and that I will not tolerate. I hereby relieve you of your command of the Red Wings. Your Majesty! <sighs> Instead, I charge you with another duty. Slay the Eidolon that infests Mist Valley, and deliver this Carne... Damn, I should... Carneglian Signant. Carnelian... It's a... Red Ring to the village of mist. You leave tomorrow at first light. <laughs> Your majesty, I beg you to reconsider. Cecil has done no wrong. <laughs> you insolent cur, how dare you barge in here? If you are so concerned about him, you may share his fate. Take the ring and be gone from my sight, both of you. Got the ring. Your Majesty! I'm sorry, Kane. Once we have completed the mission, the King is bound to forgive us both. You will rejoin the Red Wings in no time. Get some rest. Leave tomorrow's preparations to me. Free reign. This music's quite foreboding. I'm gonna take a second just to get my settings in order. Uh, maybe I'll keep it in, maybe I'll cut it out, we'll see. Uh, this is us, this is Cecil, um, our main character. He's a dark knight. Uh, high strength, decent stamina, decent speed. Um, he gets two attacks. Uh, he's got an 82% accuracy, his evasion's 22%, defense 17, kind of your classic frontline knight, uh, takes hits, deals hits, uh, he has a couple tricks up his sleeve, but, uh, I mean, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Um, one sec. Okay. 
Uh, this is our side of the room. I won't talk to every NPC because not, not all of them are important, but I will go to where I remember most of the good conversations are at. Here's Kane. What's wrong? I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. My actions are my own. They are not your responsibility. I mastered the dark sword as sword at his majesty's orders, but it was to protect Baron, not to plunder. Don't torture yourself over orders. Surely the king has his reasons. I envy you, Cain. I envy the path you chose. Oh, I suppose I could have attained a higher rank had I become a dark knight like you. But my father, who passed away when I was still young, was a dragoon. I felt that I might keep some sort of connection to him if I became a dragoon as well. I didn't mean to bore you with my stories. I only mean to tell you not to overthink things. If you are lost in dark thought, then I'll be the one to steal your prey and slay that idol in tomorrow. Oh, really? I won't be standing idly on the sidelines. That's more like it. We should get some rest. We rise early tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Alright, let's get some music change. Uh, so, I guess just kind of saying, I, I have played this game before. Uh, I did play up to a certain point, Mount Ordeals, if you're familiar with it, uh, a couple months back, just to prepare. Um, so I, I have a, a kind of a fresh... Like, I know where everything is. Like, for example, this guy just tells me about the treasure behind the wall, which I press this button and retrieve an ether. Some money and a tent. Um, not a lot of NPCs talk about important stuff, but these guys talk about another character. Rosa became a white mage for you, Cecil, to help in any way she could. Please don't worry her too much. Ooh, I wonder who that is. Too important, so just this guy. Uh, our quarters are this way, so that's where we're gonna go. Cecil! Thank goodness you're alright. I was so worried you'd have on such short notice. We're fine. I wish I could say the same for the Mycidians we slaughtered. Cecil! I'll visit you later, okay? Very well. Ooh. What's going on there? Let's visit the dungeons. These are a couple captured Mysivians. You! You won't get away with this, you hear me? Come on, come to the gate, come to the gate. I do not expect you to spare us, but please, return the crystal to Mysidia! I can't talk to them unless they're at the front of the gate, so I gotta wait. Come on. Yeah. You idiots don't know anything. The crystal isn't just any old jewel. I'm just a knight who takes words. Oh, well, well, well. Look who's back unscathed. Whoa! It's me, Sid, yeah. Rosa was worried sick about you. Don't you ever worry her like that again, you hear? So, how are my hair ships? I bet you and your goons wrecked them up something awful. Hey, what's the matter with you, kiddo? The truth is... What? The king demoted you? What about the Red Wings? They'll be a mess without you. What's come over the king? He's been acting peculiar. I didn't build my airships so they could be used to slaughter people. The whole town is beginning to talk, you know. Cecil, be careful out there. Make sure it work at that mission and get back safe. Whoa, I gotta start heading home and my daughter's gonna kill me. See you later. Uh, so fun fact, in most Final Fantasy games, at least the early ones, there are there's always one character um, named Sid, and he's the inventor of the airships. In this game, you get an actual character based off of it. Uh, so this is our room. Yeah, nothing in the pot. We got some wine, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Clock. Wow. 
what's happened to the king. He covets the crystals like a man possessed. He'll resort to any means now. But, 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 but. Alarm, sorry. And he'll resort to any means to get them. Nevertheless, I can't defy him. How could I cross the man who raised Cain in me like his very own? The chivalrous knight whom I've adorned and admired since childhood? I will not betray him. I can't. Cecil. What's going on? You just returned from Mycidia and now you must journey afar to battle this Eidolon? It's not normal for you to be given such an order. Everything is fine. Cecil, look at me. In Mycidia, we killed innocent people to steal their crystal. It was horrible. I suppose this is my fate as a dark knight. Soon I won't even feel remorse for my actions. You and I both know that would never happen. So I should feel guilty but still never dare defy my king? I am a hopeless coward. The Cecil I know would never whimper like this. The Cecil I love. We leave for mist early tomorrow, right? Yes, but you needn't worry. Cain is coming too. I'll be fine, trust me. Please come back to me in one piece. Thank you, Rosa. I just want to listen to the music for a sec. I am a dark knight, and the two of us can never. So, are you ready for some real combat? Always. <laughs> then lead the way. Yeah, we're two bros. Going on adventure. So the Dark Knight Cecil was stripped of his command as the captain of the Red Wings. He and the Master Dragoon came, head towards the Dark Valley for the Village of Mist. The advent of the airship marked the realization of Baron's dreams, but also the birth of his militarism. With its Royal Air Force Red Wings, Baron soon reigns supreme. Now, as monsters multiply and stir unrest, Baron only exploits its power to collect the world's crystals. Why? The crystals silently shed their light. do here is go into this tab. <laughs> uh, is this Baron? Is it just called Baron? Yeah, Baron. Alright, hot sell hidden items. I'll try to get them quick so they're not in here for too long. Um, excuse me. You are the Dark Knight. I cannot take money from someone of your status. Yeah, not too many NPCs in this town have much to say. Most of them will probably just like go to the shops and stuff. Oh, but this is Sid's house. This is 
wife. No, his daughter. Cecil, can you tell my father to stop pulling all-nighters? He doesn't listen to me anymore, and he's been arguing a lot with the townspeople, too. Just because they're always bad now the king and the soldiers have turned on him. Games are just a little bit. There he is. I did it. I built a new engine. This is... Weapon shop is actually locked. And this one is too. Oh, what's this? Oh, Rosa's house. What's up? I hear the king and you boys are up to no good these days. Whatever it is you're all doing, keep Rosa out of it, you hear? Yes, ma'am. Uh, item? Yeah, there we go. Alright, here's our first dancer. No, I am spreading bad rumors about the king, really. I'll show you something neat in return if you keep your mouth shut. So there's a bunch of dancers hidden in the villages. Uh, they're kind of a good reward for talking to people. Oh, what happened there? So, sometimes there are hidden items, and you can tell where they are if you're running. See how I can go all the way across right here? Um, bam, I'm running into something on that third slot. I can also hit it from this angle. Hidden item. Bronze hourglass. Uh, so that's, a, that's an easy way to search for hidden items if you think there are some nearby. And before we go to the shop... There's a hidden passage right here. This game is filled with hidden passages. The dungeons have them. Uh, hidden items over here. I think there's three. Phoenix Down. That's a revive in this game. There we go. Two Phoenix Downs. Uh, item shop. Just real quick. Yeah, oops, I didn't mean to buy that many. Well, I guess we have a bunch of potions now. It's moments like that that make me want to save Scum, but gonna refrain, gonna refrain. Alright. <clears throat> That should end it for this episode, uh, I believe. So, yeah, we'll start our adventure. We'll get some combat in. Uh, we'll go for the first boss. Uh, but first, there's a few things in this overworld uh, I want to show you. But, uh, yeah, uh, I guess this is the end. I don't have an outro completed yet. As you can tell, I probably am still getting my, my water legs. Uh, sea legs, that's what they're called, under me. Um, but, you know, with practice. Uh, anyways, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate your time. And I can't wait to show you more. <laughs>